Thinking about Gary today, one of the things that was so important to me is I started, and some of you know this, I started as a writer. I was a writer for a, a, a long time uh, trying to figure out, could I be a performer? Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, is that something I could do? Is that something I could uh, maybe one day achieve? And Gary Shandling started, he told me this once, that he started as a writer. He was a writer for years. He was inspired by George Carlin, and he went backstage, showed George Carlin some jokes, and George Carlin said, you're, you're funny, and he started as a writer. And I think mm -hmm. he wrote stuff for George Carlin. I think he worked for Sanford and Son. He worked in television for quite a while as a writer before he got in front of the camera. And I remember hearing about this guy and seeing him and knowing that that had been his past and thinking, hey, there's a way to do this, yeah. you know, which was really cool, mm -hmm. it was really fascinating. He was an amazing joke writer. He was an amazing joke writer. All the, all the comedy writers backstage today have been trading, since they heard the news, have been trading like their favorite Gary Shandling jokes. And they're so smart, they're so good. Mm -hmm. Everyone was in awe at his ability to write such a smart joke. And you also, I never knew when he would be on the show and I'd interview him what he was gonna do he had such a different rhythm than mm -hmm. everybody else. I think we, we today, I, we just thought we'd take a second and show, I believe this is from 2007. Uh, this is what, during a period of the show when I had the idea to grow crazy long riverboat gambler sideburns. I'm not kidding, I did. I, and I wore them on the show for like six months until America said, stop it, you look like an ass. I don't want you to be thrown by those sideburns. I just wanted to show this because this shows uh, Gary at work sitting uh, next to me and just you get to see his mind working, which was so much fun. Let's take a look. You know, I'm not in New York that much and I had never seen the Lenin, the Lenin uh, Memorial mm -hmm. and I couldn't find the Captain and Tennille Memorial. <laughs> and <clears throat> here's, the, here's the part, that's not the part. <laughs> so I turned to my friend and I said, where's the Captain and Tennille Memorial, my buddy? Yeah. And uh, he laughed, and uh, I said, uh, you think I should tell that on Conan? Is that funny enough to tell on Conan? And this is the great thing about New York. A guy I didn't know who was standing there looking at the Lennon Memorial turned to me and said, I think it's funny enough to do on Conan. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, uh -huh. uh, you know, usually, like in L.A., you got to go into a nightclub to try jokes. Here right. you walk into Central Park, you just say something out loud, and somebody goes, hmm, Charlie Rose. Do that on Charlie Rose. <laughs> needed a guy like me who could look right at you and That's go... That's good. <laughs> have, you gone, have you ever gone to therapy? I've never looked into your eyes. No, take a good look. Uh, I, I, yes, I've gone to therapy. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Would you be interested in going to couples therapy? <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah. I notice you don't look right at me. You look at me no. a little bit, and then you, I look right at you. You dart away. Your eyes dart away, and uh, you're very, it's, it's very unsettling for you, isn't it? Well, it's, it's extraordinarily uncomfortable. I don't think the people at home know what this feels like. It's, I think this idea of building the fence is what I can't believe because is that the best we can do is build a fence? First of all, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm, I think all people are the same. I'm not sure how this immigration thing should work out, but they're people, but they tried, didn't, didn't they try the fence thing at the Alamo? Didn't we try that? <laughs> Didn't they build the wall, and uh -huh. the Mexicans had what they call a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> and they got right over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> was the gift shop there originally at the Alamo? Because I was there, they had a gift shop. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. I don't know if then the Mexicans bought the t-shirts that said, I'm in. Right. And, <laughs> and I'm not against a Mexican person taking my job, I wish George Lopez was here now to take over. <laughs> All right. special, a special fellow indeed.